But first, the amazing turnaround for Ted Williams. As we said, we'll talk to him about his rough life, his golden moment, thanks to his golden voice in just a moment. But first, NBC's Kevin Tibbles has his story. He was just another beggar by the highway, but his sign said, I have a God-given gift of voice. So the reporter from the Columbus Dispatch yeah, took a chance. Say something with that great radio voice. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Within hours, that video went viral, way viral. Millions of hits on YouTube alone. I shoot a lot of things and uh, nothing's quite stuck like this has. His name is Ted Williams, 53, from Brooklyn. As a teen, he fell in love with broadcasting after a chance meeting with a local DJ. He said to me, listen, radio is defined theater of mind. But alcohol and drugs and a few other things became a part of my life. He says he's clean now, but spent the last decade on the streets. The Dave and Jimmy Show every weekday morning. Perfect, man. From the side of the road to inside the studios of local radio where many callers offered Williams employment, even a mortgage. I just didn't know if anything was like this would have happened. The NBA's Cleveland Cavaliers offered him a job. We loved his voice, we loved his story, and our biggest priority right now is just to get him in here. But before Ted Williams did anything else, he paid the Today Show a visit first thing this morning and helped get our day started in the voice booth. This now that's a set of pipes. Lauer For today, Meredith Kevin Tibbles, Sierra, NBC live News. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. <laughs> Ted Williams, good morning, sir. Good morning, How are you? Sir. It's great good to morning. have you. It's great to be here. Yeah, this is a dream come to, true, oh. I'm telling you. Can, can, honestly. It's can, that honestly. second chance. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Can you begin to even sum up what these last 48 hours or so have been like? In Outrageous. Outrageous. Uh, it's just phenomenal. I mean, uh, I, there's no way in the world that I could have ever imagined, Matt, that I would be, I mean, I mean, just have all of this just all of a sudden just come into, you know, this portion of my life. You were panhandling yeah. yes. two days ago, three yes. days ago, yes. on the streets of Columbus, Ohio. Yes. You're in New York City now and you're on national television. Isn't that something? I mean, I'm still just, I'm telling you. It's, it's got to be a little God, overwhelming, yeah, to process it even. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And you almost didn't make it here, right? You had problems at the Yeah, they, some, somehow the, the flight got uh, uh, delayed and everything, and then, you know, God. But didn't you need papers to even prove? Yeah, I had, yeah to, right. I had to get an ID. Oh, right. okay, the ID situation. Yes, ma'am. We had to go all the way downtown and get a uh, proof of residency. I had to go to a couple homeless shelters to get that filled yeah. out. And then I had to get a, a court injunction to, you know, prove who I was, you know, date of birth and all, because I didn't have any ID right. or nothing. Well, you mentioned New York's your home, right? Yes, you, Brooklyn, you, New York. Brooklyn, New York. Yes, um, your uh, right in the Bedford-Stuyvesant area. I, I was born and raised. How long has it been since you've been here and been in contact with some family members? 1986 was the last time I actually set foot right here. I, I watched the uh, a ball come down. I took my, my the mother of my two, two boys. And we came in, and this was the first time she had ever been here, and that was, I was doing fairly well then, you know, I, I was working in radio and all, but uh, she'd never been here. And we... So what So what happened, Dad? Help us understand what happened. Okay. You say in 86 you it, were doing well, you were working in radio. And in 1993, Miss uh, Meredith, That's okay. um, uh, drugs and alcohol, I started snorting cocaine, and, and then I started smoking it, uh, the crack and all of that, and then drinking. Alcohol has always been a part of my life. Because my, my parents used to travel down to St. Thomas, mm -hmm. so I did have an alcohol problem at an early, but it, I was a functional alcoholic at that mm -hmm. point, I thought, you know. But, uh, How as bad result, did it get? Yeah. Pretty bad. I was drinking like a fifth a day. But I was working. I, you know, I was doing well. I was really doing well. I, at least I thought, you know. But was I, it the drugs then that took you down? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. When did you lose your home? I mean, when did you end In 93, up on that's 93. when the pits, you know, my life just went to the pits. I was at the homeless shelters in Columbus. And then I was going to, I, I was introduced to the, you know, program of recovery. I, you know, I, I, I noticed something in that video that we've all now seen so many times that was on the Internet. And, mm -hmm. and when the reporter for the Columbus Dispatch comes up to you and he starts asking you about your voice, mm -hmm. despite your hard times, there is this civility mm -hmm. to you, Ted. There is this um, kindness. There is this grace of, about you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Where does that come from? My my mom, my mom has raised me that way, you know, to always be polite. Treat people as you would want them to treat you, you know. Do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. And that's the golden rule, as she always put it. And, and you've and mentioned your mom repeatedly in the past couple days. I love that this my mom, and, and I, I, 
here comes maybe some tears, but um, how I always used to pray to God. I'm telling you, religiously say, Lord, please let my mom live to you know see another year. Maybe this will be a year that somebody would you know say, Hey, man, do you want a job or anything? But um, and, and I always used to say, God, you you never seen fit to take my voice in spite of all the, the 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 flames and everything that went down my throat. You know, the voice still maintained some type of resonance. You know and and so uh, when I got out there with the sign, it gave me a chance to, you know, the, the public passing, good morning, thank you, you know, and people would roll their windows down. Then it became a situation where the same people that would give me money, they would just come by just to see if I was still there All so right. that they could hear me say, you know, listen to more of the best music, and I started using local talent. So, so your mom has lived long enough to see what yes. is going to be, we hope, redemption. Um, Yes. And I hope you understand what I say. Meredith and I were talking before the show, and we, and we both worry a little that a lot is happening very quickly. Yes, yes, and, yes. and some people might find that hard to deal with. And, and so are you emotionally ready to accept this second chance, to, to do the right things with this second chance? This time around, uh, uh, Matt, I have uh, a God. Uh, you know, a, a God of my understanding in my life and acknowledging him on the daily basis, which I've been doing this past year because I was ready to mark 2010 as another year wasted until I realized that in 2010, I found a new sense of spirituality. Now, I'm not saying I'm, I've become this, you know, born again type person mm -hmm. to where I'm going around. But I do want to say that the difference between my successes of years gone by I didn't acknowledge the Lord or thank him for anything before, you know, and I've had some great opportunities of emceeing various uh, uh, venues and, and, and having a great time with all the perks that radio had, you know, but I never not once said, oh, Lord, thank you for this or, or thank you for another day or forgive me for this or not. But this time around, I'm acknowledging him in all my ways. So you and think I, you can make it? Yes, sir. You know, I yes, think sir. we'd be remiss if we didn't ask you about reports that uh, beyond the drugs and the alcohol, there were run-ins with the law. Yes. Um, can yes. you tell us about that? We heard about robbery yes. and forgery. Well, and yes, yes. Um, well, the robberies and all have been broken down and anything. I've never stuck any, uh, no violent crimes at all. It was all thefts and fraud uh, type things. And that was just to uh, afford the drug habits and so forth. But uh, I ended up... Um, uh, the judges have been lenient, you know, because my, you know, it was like, okay, let's do this to him. And, they, you know, I never got anything of any serious time or anything, but I did go behind, you know, fences with barbed wire and so forth. Have you, have you had a chance, Ted, to, to stop and think about some of what's being offered to you right now? I mean, people want you to do voiceovers for them. The Cleveland Cavaliers have offered you a job. Look at the smile. Um, <laughs> NFL <laughs> Films interested uh, in talking to you. They need some help right now. So. <laughs> um, they said that they're going to give me LeBron's old house. You know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're really working <laughs> How about no, baby I'm steps, Ted? Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> no. um, but have you had a chance over. to even think about what yeah. you would you like know, to do? They've been coming in so fast, but I do want to say that I did have one, one offer here in New York. Uh, the fine people at Kraft Macaroni and Cheese have offered me to be the official voice of their product. <laughs> so when I leave here today, I'll be doing some voices for the fine people of Kraft. How, how would you pitch their product? When you're looking for a cheesy product, a very <laughs> delicious macaroni and cheese, choose craft. That kind of thing. No. I don't like no. it. But, th but I do just want to say one more thing. Yeah. That this is, man, meeting you two guys and the lovely Ann Curry and Al Roker and all that, man, I'm telling you, I watched the Today Show religiously ever since I was a kid from Gene Shalit and Brian Gumbel and Jane Pauley and all of that. And you guys have replaced right. those people the best, uh, the best. Let, let me uh, I, I, thank I, I you for that. Say thank that. you. I, thank I, you. I, thank I, you, Ted. I, I'm glad I got that opportunity <laughs> to get that out of me because. Let me end with one question. Yes, sir. If, if we sit down with you, Ted, five years from today, mm -hmm. what are you going to be doing? Yeah. Hopefully a, a, a program director somewhere, uh, uh, or, or I'll have my own apartment, I will say that, you know, and, and you know, my kids will have love for me, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll say, hey, Meredith and Matt, I, um, you know, the kids are over here and this, that, and, the, and I do want to say hello to my children in Columbus. How many kids? I have uh, seven girls and two boys. Seven girls and two boys, wow. Yes, yes, and they're all adults, and I have grandchildren, and I want to say hi to, can I say hello? Go. Sure, go, go. Mark Henderson, who was a very instrumental in helping me with uh, a place to live, and uh, I want to say hi to uh, um, Jimmy, uh, uh, Jimmy Cottrell, my uh, girlfriend Katie, 
um, and, and my children, Julie, Janae, Trisha, Tangela, and uh, Keisha, and, and my son Desmond and Tyrell, and and my mom, wherever she's at, I, you know, I miss her so much. I just want to... sure you'll get to see her. Yes, ma'am. You also have a greater appreciation for the homeless as well. If there's oh, anything truly, we need truly. to understand, Please. what would we... Please, don't don't judge a book by its cover. Everybody has their own little story, you know. And, and you know, the next time, if you're going to give, if you're going to give to any homeless person, give from the heart and not give and then say, oh, I know they're not going to do nothing but use it for drugs and alcohol, because that's not always the case. And I want to say hi to Al Battle, who's handling that gentleman standing right behind camera. <laughs> He's the one that's handling all of the, the, the fielding all of the right. calls that's coming in. Because like you said, Matt, they're coming in by the dozens. And I don't know which one to choose and which one's the right one, which one's bogus or anything. I'm just thankful to be here. And, and I'm taking it one step at a time. As well, you should. And it's the Today but... Show. With, I just got to take advantage of all of this. Thanks, you know. Ted, so much. Thank you so much. Good luck. God All right. Both Congratulations. We'll see you Thank in five you. years, Appreciate right? It. Yes, ma'am. You're the program director. Yes, ma'am. And we're working for you. No. Oh, God. God. Thank Remember you. us. Yes, I will. Okay. Yes, I will. Just say, let's get a check of the weather from Al now. Go ahead. And now it's time to get a check of the weather with Al. <laughs> you know, I want him to do the Sunday night football <laughs> night in America. Oh, That's Thank you. Dad, Thank you yes. so much. Let's hear oh, it for Ted God. Williams, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you. What a great story.